Hi guys, tonight I'm going to teach you how to file an EI. Please go to www.canada.ca and then search. Select English. And then go to benefits click the benefits and now click apply for employment insurance so it will direct you to EI regular benefits overview and then click apply we are just trying to find what is the next step so you proceed in this EI regular benefits and go down 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 and click ready to start it will show privacy notice statement personal information and then you need to click start application start application so only use the buttons provided at the bottom of the screen to navigate through application are you trying to retrieve an application you began within the last 72 hours but did not complete it if you are first timer applying for ei you should answer no but if you have a pending application that you made 72 hours before your application you need to hit yes but it's time we're going to hit no and then press continue type of employment insurance application benefits for employees benefits for self-employed people what type of employment insurance benefits would you like to claim either benefits per self employed if you are employed self-employed or if your employees it should be benefits of employees so we need to click benefits for employees and then continue next reference code are you part of a group of employees an apprenticeship program a work sharing program group layoff situation including layoffs due to natural disaster or automotive industry and you were given a reference code to submit with application what's your answer it depends to you if not says no and then press continue next benefits type what type of benefits are you applying for regular benefits fishing benefits sickness benefits and maternity benefits parental benefits compassionate care benefits family caregiver benefits there's a type there's so much type of benefits that you can claim for ei but you need to choose what suits you so i will I will proceed to regular benefits and then press continue the regular benefits you will need to provide the following personal information your SIN the last name at birth of one of your parents mailing and residential address your complete banking information if you're receiving or will receive a pension, we will need to provide a type of pension like CPP, QPP insurance, retirement pension from an employer. 
you will need to prepare the following employment information and then proceed 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 and then press continue now you are here at application for employment insurance So therefore, as what I've said before, you need to prepare your SIN, your address, and your parents' last name, and continue your application, including the availability of your bank institution. Good luck to your application and have a good night. I hope you learned today's tutorial.